So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 12th Angular tutorial in which we're going to take a look at what data binding in Angular is and how we can get it to work. So to start off with, again, we're going to go simple because uh, Angular JS already had this data binding with these two curly braces and you could evaluate like uh, any expression one plus one or any sort of multiplication division call even JavaScript functions so we can very much say like uh, result in here and we can say one plus one is equal to and result and what we can do is in our component we can define result as two and hit save and make sure you have the app running and you would get one plus one is equal to two Fair enough so that is one way and uh, the other way if you want to like uh, bind this this value to an attribute rather instead of uh, uh, just showing it raw on the page what you would do is pretty much say like input type text and uh, value <coughs> is this thing right so this is one way right now the actual meaning of this thing is not that it just sets the value of this input type to input type text to result but it rather sets the property the dom property of input type text to result now what that means actually is that uh, it is monitoring this property and once the result is changed since the property is uh, linked with this result and, the, and you have changed the result variable then the property would also be changed right so the difference the difference actually if we take a look if this is your element right let's just say this is any sort of element let's just say this is input element so when you write uh, input uh, uh, let's just make it 20 yep input type text and value some value here right this value is being set as the property of this input box for the first time and later on when the user just modifies it this property right here this dom dom attribute this attribute remains still the same but when you access it with javascript like um, um, I don't know my input dot value by getting this input reference then what happens is that you are now accessing the property of this DOM object right so what angular is doing right here is that it's not setting its value it's it's not setting the attribute value to the result but it's rather setting the property of this DOM object to result and uh, what we can do in order to see that it's working is that very much uh, let's just go ahead and create a constructor and right here let's just fire a set timeout which uh, pretty much says that uh, result is equal to um, 50 right and if we save this and uh, change the set timeout to two seconds and save this and you can see that after two seconds it changes from 2 to 50 now again if it were just echoing out the value then it would just remain at 2 here but it's actually binding to the property of the element so it changes the value to 50 when the result changes right so this was an important thing to understand to know how binding works in angular and another way to actually achieve the same thing is to make use of this square brackets and again it looks like sublime text is not happy but uh, we're still gonna go with it so these square brackets and that interpolation syntax with these curly braces is pretty much same there's a slight difference I would just let you know about that by the end of the tutorial but for now the square brackets pretty much says again that uh, because if you do something like this then angular has no idea if you actually want the value to have to be result or you want to um, 
let angular take control of this value so the square bracket is again a syntactic sugar it's just still angular that we want you to be in control and just uh, parse out what we have in right here it's probably some javascript and just make sense for it so we save it and we see you can see again we get two and 50 and again it's just binding to the property okay so well actually the difference between binding with the, the square brackets and binding with these curly braces is pretty much that uh, these curly braces what they do when you do something like this they actually evaluate whatever inside it is and uh, convert it to string right so that is one way to understand this so if you have something like uh, um, I don't know an array one two three so you know that for arrays they just pretty much uh, turn into something like this on conversion on strings so it will just show you that but with the uh, the square notation what happens is that the result is just evaluated as it is but is not converted to string right so that's pretty much the only difference between these notations and i guess this one looks a bit cleaner than though that curly brace notation but again it's up to you whatever you prefer both are correct right so that was a real tutorial quick tutorial on one-way data binding with the uh, angular and it's actually half the part of one-way data binding because we have not seen how we can one-way data bind from the view to the component script right so we'll just take a look at that in the next tutorial so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one